Buñuelos are not just for the holidays, they are also a perfect treat for fiesta. And any day of the year, basically. And we have the owner and the world's greatest Benuelo maker, Southtown Benuelo's <laughs> owner, Art Giron, is here to show us how to make this holiday treat for Fiesta, for the day after, for the mm -hmm. second Tuesday of the week, mm -hmm. whatever it, it is, matter, right? It doesn't matter, right? No. Well, first of all, you're setting me up to get into a fight. My mom's going to take partial to that because <laughs> she's the Benuelo queen. Gotcha. So she's I, the I, greatest. You are, yeah, you are on your way there. <laughs> I'm just trying not to mess up what she's already made. <laughs> Don't make mama mad, And right? she taught you how to do these? Yes, yes, she did. We're coming out with our booming Buñuelos because we're also going to be like at the King William Fair. And mm -hmm. we're showing people that it has a little bit of a flair to it. It looks almost like a flower. Mm -hmm. So as we got our blooming from, uh, we have them in either cinnamon sugar or also in powdered sugar as well. Oh, wow. So how do we get started? How, okay. do, you, how do you make it? So the mold is, is the main thing. That's what we consider this. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to shake off as much oil as you can. Okay. Then you're going to dip it into the batter and try okay. to go as far as you can without any of the batter overlapping the mold. You can go further. Ooh. Okay. And then now right here. Okay. And right into the oil. Don't worry, there's going to be a lot of little mm -hmm. piece of batter come up. And just kind of just bob it through the oil a little bit okay. without it coming out. And then you leave it there for maybe about five, ten seconds. Mm -hmm. And then little by little, you'll slowly shake it off of the mold. Okay. So you can just... So unlike regular Benuelos, these are a lot more labor intensive. Yes, they are. Just because um, they're a little bit more delicate because mm -hmm. of the, to get the presentation of a flower. Look at um, that. What's going to happen is they're going to be a two part when it comes to the draining. So right now what Fiona's going to do, she's going to flip over the over the Buñuelo oh. and she's going to let it cook in there for a little bit. And then once she's done, uh, what she's going to do, she's going to tap as much oil as possible out. Flip it onto the first cup so that it opens up, that's how you shape it. And then once it's gone, um, it takes the shape, you're going to flip it over onto the opposite one so that the rest of the oil can drain out as well. But that's what amazes me is that, that batter in there and you think it is so delicate, yet you can take tongs and flip oh, it yeah, yes. and In here, it's much, it's, it's a little bit more durable. Your job, on the other hand, it's a little bit more delicate just because oh. if you break it, He's we're right back to... <laughs> if, if, if I break it, I get a snack to eat right Exactly. Now, so. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and so this typically for the holidays, but now perfect for a fiesta tree, right? Exactly. Uh, with, with the flower look, it gives it a little bit more of a flair. It fits the fiesta look to it. Uh, eventually, we are going to start doing the colors and stuff like that. Uh, COVID kind of put a little stop to some of the ingredients, but we love the way it looks, and oh. we just want to be able to share with it, our own. It broke. Oh, darn. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway. Uh, I, knew, I knew it. It didn't break. You wanted to eat is it. Is it really a surprise to you? No, it's oh. not. Yes, I'm it gonna... is. So, all right. So, Fiesta, but then also with Easter coming up in just yes. a couple of weeks, you've got some uh, Easter treats for that, right? Yes. We have our little boxes that are going to have, um, we're going to have an Easter egg mold. So, it's going to have East, uh, miniature Easter eggs. Um, Buñuelos, mm -hmm. and there's going to be six to each box, and we're going to have them at several different boutiques around San Antonio, especially in the Southtown area. Uh, everything from Inspiration for Life, as well as Bell the Ball Boutique, and a couple of other in that strip as well. Okay, so not just the Buñuelos, but also, and we have tried these before. Yes. These wonderful brownies <laughs> that you had too. Our brownies have become a hit with the with the with the public, so they're just basically on our menu all year round. And then, uh, so we're going to have them in a four piece. You can go around, you have either share them with four or uh, three other friends, or you can have all four to yourself and and not have to worry about sharing it all. But we're also going to have that. We came out also with our Silpopia cheesecake as well as our uh, peach cobbler for the summer. Oh all right, my here we gracious. go. I'm going to take it. I'm taking it out, okay. shaking some of the oil. Okay, mm -hmm. and now we're going to put it right here so that it exactly can yeah. form. Whoop! Stay, stay, okay. stay. Good one. There we go. Yeah, That's you did a great job. <laughs> Okay. And once again, where are you going to be during Fiesta? We're going to be at the King William Fair April 9th. Okay. So we're going to be on the corner of Washington and Turner. We're going to do a co-op with my mom. She does uh, halos and flower oh, crowns yeah, and all that. Oh, yeah, because your mom so. made these flower crowns and halos. <laughs> exactly. Really? So hopefully right now she's she's kind of letting me use her Buñuelo crown just so she can do that for right now. Oh, I love and this one that looks like, like little cascarones. <laughs> you know? Look at that right there. Very cool. Very <laughs> cool. Okay. Make sure you mm -hmm. stop by, grab the Benuelos, and order some as well. Order. Right. <laughs> yes, right? yeah, right. definitely. Okay. For more information on Southtown Benuelos, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link or just snap that QR code on your screen.